With a few remnants or offcuts of fabric, you really can transform a piece of furniture. This chair could really do with a comfy little pad, which you don't really have to upholster. We're going to make a loose pad cover for it. And we've all seen these in secondhand shops. With the right fabric, it could be good in your room or your kids' room. And with the fabric being removable, stick it in the washing machine too. If you don't already have your fabric, check out fabric houses online because you're bound to get two meters of fabric. Make sure it's upholstery weight so that it's durable for the job. And after that, it's very, very simple. You just take your tape measure and measure each side. And I'm simply going to make this inside out. So I'll need a top and four sides. So what we're doing is on every side measuring the height. In this case, we have 19 inches. But because this is the bottom edge here, and I want to tuck that under so I have a neat edge, possibly using Velcro, I'll add two inches to the bottom. Then coming around to the end pieces, this is also the same height, but this time I'm adding each side half an inch. So we've got the perfect seam to stitch along as I've done here. Then once we take this to the machine, we run it all through and hopefully flip it all over and it fits perfectly. My five pieces of fabric, which are my templates, have all now been cut and they've all been joined together with these dressmaker's pins, which is great, I can sew through those, but I've allowed the half inch seam on every corner because when this is all made and we turn it inside out, it should fold and sit on top of the ottoman itself like a balance sheet on your double bed. All five pieces have been sewn together and you can see the seam line along there and very carefully just maneuver it down into position and you'll see this is where those extra two inches at the bottom of each side really come in handy because when you turn the unit on its back I've sewn velcro to the inside seam and taken a staple gun and stapled to the underside of the ottoman itself and it's simply Velcro's down to give you a really neat finish. On our distressed farmhouse dining chair, I want to make a little loose seat pad for it. So I've taken a piece of greaseproof paper and cut it to the same size as the base or the seat. And then I found another little remnant, which looks like this. And we've gone for a really contemporary stripe, but something that fits the style of your kitchen even better. And I'm simply going to run around all the edges, leaving this back edge open because when I turn it inside out, we have to fill it. Now to attach the pad to the chair along those spindle backs, we've just got little lengths of ribbon and putting them either side. And with some finishing touches of bows at the side, a couple of remnants of fabric, and a little afternoon with a bit of sandpaper, you really can upcycle the most mundane and unloved piece of furniture because then it's new to you.